All right, guys, here we go. Foam rolling 101. Foam rolling technique is also known as myofascial release. So over your muscles, you have this basic, really thin, looks like saran wrap coating. It's called fascia. And sometimes that gets super duper tight and it causes your muscles to get tight and causes your joints to move inefficiently, right? So the foam rolling just kind of like loosens up the muscles and gets that, that fascia kind of loosened up a little bit. Think about having knots, like you say you have a knot in your back or you have like a, uh, a knot in your calf or something like that. And it's basically when the muscle fibers aren't really working as efficiently as they can. So I always use uh, a ponytail analogy see somebody with a ponytail, all their hairs are pulled back, right? And that's how the muscle fibers in your, in your muscle are, right? They're like this. So if any one of those hairs kind of like come out of that ponytail, it just, it's not smooth anymore. The ponytail isn't smooth and that's what happens to your muscle fibers, right? So you have like muscle fibers that are like frayed a little bit. So the muscles aren't contracting as they should or could. Um, so it causes some potentially um, inefficiencies with how your body moves. So the foam roll is just to release some of those some of those knots. And I'm just gonna do a quick little foam rolling 101 here. I always start with my glutes and use my feet and my hands as like a guide. Just rolling. Rolling on the foam roller. Right? But you're looking to find the areas that your muscles need the most tension. So I use the term find the funk. So if it's a little bit uncomfortable, it's not necessarily a bad thing when it comes to foam rolling. I'm going to start on our glutes, get around the hip area, don't be afraid to move around. What I would suggest is not going so fast, really trying to slow it down a little bit and find the areas that you need it most. You go from that position, we're going to go on to our elbow here so you can get the whole side of the leg, IT band, start at your hip, roll slowly all the way down the outside of your, your thigh. If you find any areas that you need more attention, obviously just stick, stick to them for a few seconds longer. The more you do it, the more familiar you'll get with where your body needs it most. So keep this as efficient as possible, this little one-on-one -on -one session. I'm gonna keep it rolling, no pun intended. So continue to roll onto the front part of your thigh now. Look from this angle. My quad hip flexor are on that foam roll. I'm still using my elbows, I'm almost like army crawling all the way down all the way up so that foam roller goes all the way down my thigh. You can play around with the movement. So bend that knee, bring your heel to your butt, and then kind of do left and right, all the way up, all the way down. Make sure you get a crease of your hip. Explore a little bit. Try to find the areas of your body that need it the most. And you'll be able to tell when you find them. I also like to start workouts with this because it gets the blood flowing through the muscle. Keep that 360 going. Go on to the other leg.
breathe in. I want to hold your breath. A few seconds there. Now we're going to get to that other glute. on the hips all the way around. Now I'm going to get that upper back area. Three different positions we're going to put our shoulders in. First hands are going to go back so you're curved perfectly parallel to the floor. I was going to say perpendicular but you want to be parallel to the floor. Hips are up. And just take a nice slow roll all the way down to the middle of your back. You'll know when it's too far because you'll start getting to that ribs. Take your breath away. You don't want to stay there too long, but you do want to try to get those lats. Next up, fingertips facing the ceiling, same thing. Making sure your shoulder blades are touching the foam roller. Just continue with those rolls. And then last one, interlace your hands behind your head. Do the same exact thing. Hips are up, just rolling up and down. Spend a little bit extra time in it. Act like you're kneading dough and you're just kind of rolling through the knots. Right, last one, give yourself a nice big hug. Go left and right, right over the shoulder blade area. 